Hello everyone, we are project group one and we have been working on the home credit default risk and explore the data set for the presentation. The team members are myself, Anita and Archana, Rajesh and Nisha. The work completed in the first phase were EDA, feature engineering, modeling and first round of Kaggle submission. In phase one of the EDA, we take a look at the summary statistics, which uh, gives us information of the anomalies, and also take a look at the correlation analysis as well as the percentage of missing values. The correlation analysis gives us cherry picked features for which we look at the categorical as well as the numerical variables and the distribution of the target. This lays footing for our feature engineering. We use the end to end pipeline to create a baseline model. We downloaded the data from Kaggle performed EDA, visual EDA feature extraction by aggregating primary and secondary data sets, feature engineering by developing new features and created a baseline model with highly correlated features. We used various performance metrics to evaluate the model and based on the best results, we did a final submission in data. Over to you. We performed totally four experiments on the baseline model, one with the imbalanced data, one with the balanced data, one with the tuned model, and the final one with the best model to run the whole subset of training data. Our final baseline is based on the best hyperparameters for the logistic regression model with the training accuracy of 68.4% and the training AUC score as 74.8%. We used the final model to run the whole one third of training data and got the training accuracy as 68.6% .6 and training ACU as training AUC as 74.3. Uh, the problems we faced in this project were the lack of more complex feature engineering to improve the efficiency of the feature extraction and the long running models like KNN, which maxed out the, uh, our system memory, the basic resampling methods like logistic reg regression, which had only an accuracy of 70%. And what we plan to do in the next phase are create few, few polynomial features and the performance can be posted using GPU and PyTorch and uh, we plan to implement the ROC curve. Thank you for watching.